Hello, this is Jackson Home One, part four of my computer build series, how to build yourself a desktop computer. And in this part, what I'm planning to do is fit the motherboard into the computer. Now, this is quite a delicate job and it takes all the concentration, so I'm not suggesting this is by any means the best tutorial showing you how to do this, but I'll put a link into the description to a better one. But if you're like me and think of it this way, then you know, take notice of my tutorial. So, first thing you've got to make sure is that all your motherboard standoffs are in and secure. As I'm not sure if you've seen my first video, but I put the motherboard standoffs in. And this makes sure that the motherboard will not short circuit on the case. Second thing is, is or something I like to do, is safety precautions. So because of the static electricity, I, you don't have to if you feel a little bit more confident, but I have decided that I'm going to use an anti-static wrist strap which I'm going to connect to a non-painted part of the case and it's also connected to my arm as you can see here just out the way as long as it makes contact with the skin it could go anywhere so first thing we've got to do is we have to install the IO shield into the case and this is a little bit at the back of the case which shows or which protects all the contacts and makes it look nice so I'll pause the camera for a minute while I go to better angle so I've now relocated to the back of the case where I'm going to install the I.O. shield. Now some computer or some cases come with almost like pre-made I.O. shields in or ones you have to cut yourself. Which, okay, this one didn't because like I said in the first video, it is unfortunately a very cheap case. So what you do is you first look at the I.O. shield and you work out which way up it has to go. And I've looked at this one has to go this way up. So we reach inside the case and all you have to do, line it up with the hole and in theory in theory you just, sorry about the light in here push it, push each corner into the case and there should be some quite sharp clicking don't worry you won't break this bit or it's going to be pretty hard to break And that is the I.O. shield in. So that's what it should look like outside, like so. And if I just show you inside, it should look roughly like that with all your connections up the right way. Double check that before you put it in. Right, so now it's time to place some other board in. Now the easiest way to do this is to angle it, make sure it's all up the right way, make sure your motherboard standoffs are in, and angle it so that the holes or the output connectors all push into the I.O. shield and then the holes in the motherboard should line up with your motherboard standoffs. Now because this I.O. shield has got some padding on the back it in fact has to be pushed up gently against the I.O. shield for the screw holes to line up so I'll just get you a better view of that. So I've laid the motherboard in all the connections are pushed up against the I.O. shield and although once again I'm sure you cannot see this let's try and find an easy one those screw holes line up with the with the holes in the motherboard and then if we look outside the case and we look at the I.O. shield I've just put these cables outside so they're out of the way and make sure that all connections are seated in the I.O. shield correctly so that is the motherboard into the computer right so I've now gone to collect the nine screws needed to secure an ATX motherboard so I'll start with the top corner and I believe these are the correct screws but we'll soon find out so we'll gently push the motherboard up against the I.O. shield and place the screw into the standoff and hopefully it should screw in. So I'm only going to gently put these in for the minute. So gently put that one in and then we go down to the opposite corner to put the next one in 
I'm not sure if you can see this, so I may speed it up and then show you at the end. Very, very sorry about that. My, com my camera just died. So, I, in the meantime, I put in the nine screws and now I'm just going to quickly give them a good nip up. Now, it's very, very important you don't over tighten these screws because it can, you can very, very easily thread these, like thread them so they won't work and it can also cause damage to the motherboard. So, seeing as there's nine of them, it really doesn't matter if they're that tight, it will definitely hold in. And if you ever one day see it slipping, you can always just reach into the case and do them up just a little bit. So, just tighten the last three, make sure they're taut, but not over tightened. Just get those three. And now, if I remove the camera from its tripod, so you can have a look at this. So if you look at these, we've got all nine of those screws in place. I'm not sure how well you can see them. So all these screws in place. And if we go round to where the IO shield is, all the connections are sitting there, correctly seated and in their place. So that's the end of this part of the build. And so the motherboard is now in. So I look forward to making the next part.